Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. We are going to be removing the back as well as the boards from this Sony XBR-65A8F. Should be a pretty simple removal video here today, but if you have any questions or need to order any parts, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get into it. So this is the back of this Sony unit. Uh, there are some screws here along the bottom that we're gonna have to get out, and I will show you how to remove this back plate as well. It's not real complicated. Uh, there are a couple things that we're gonna have to touch on, uh, but first things first, let's get all of the screws out and then we'll move on to the second step. All right, I do believe that's everything. We're gonna take one more pass just to make sure. Okay, so after we get the screws removed, there are gonna be two latches, one on the left side, one on the right side here. Uh, we're gonna to want to pull those, and you hear that click, towards, each other, uh, towards ourselves. This one's giving me a little bit of grief here. Let's try to use a tool. And those latches are keeping the back secured to the chassis, so we are gonna make sure that we pop both of them towards the bottom of the television. Uh, after we get that done, we can start lifting at the back plate here. You don't wanna ever force it at all. So if it's giving you resistance, just try it in a different spot and move on to the next one. Okay, so now that the back, at the bottom here is free away, uh, we're gonna have to slide the entire thing forward towards the top of the television. And we're gonna wanna just give it a little bit of pressure, rock it back and forth, and then it pops away. Now that we can take the back off and get to the boards. The first board that we're gonna be removing is the main board here. Um, first, let's get these plastic pieces out of the way. And you just give them a little bit of pressure. There are two little clips here and here, they kind of keep them latched onto the board. Just pop right out, easy stuff there. Uh, so now we're going to focus on the various clips, uh, LVDS cables here, we're gonna get those uh, out of the way now. Uh, this one is gonna have, in the middle, there's gonna be a little lever, just wanna depress that with your thumbnail or your finger, and you can slowly but surely walk that out. Same thing with this guy, we're just gonna give it a little bit of pressure to release that clip, it comes right out. These two LVDS cables, uh, there is a small plastic piece on the left and the right side that we're gonna wanna push down and depress. And that should let that LVDS cable slide right out of there real easy. Micro USB just comes right out. This one's gonna have a latch uh, on the left and the right side that we're gonna wanna push down to release. And then we can just slowly walk it out of there, comes right out as well. And now we just have the screws and this should come away from the chassis. All right, and that comes away. There's a little bit of adhesive underneath here, so we wanna be really gentle, go all the way around the board, comes right away. And that's that adhesive pads that they were stuck to. And that's our main board. Next up is going to be the T-Con board, and as you can see, it is a little bit buried underneath some wires, some plates. Uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of management here before we can actually get to the T-Con board. So first things first, let's go ahead and get these clips unplugged. These two right here and these two LVDS cables. These are gonna be really easy. You just depress the clip, which unlatches it. You should just be able to walk it right out. Same thing with this guy, depress the clip, walk it out. These two LVDS cables, there's gonna be two buttons on the right and left side of the, uh, the clip here that you wanna push down, and then you can just pull those right out. So now that we've got the clips and things removed from the T-Con board, we're gonna to have to deal with this metal plating. Uh, there is going to be two screws right here for the, um, uh, the, the, the bar down here that we're gonna to have to get these screws out so we can get this away. So let's go ahead and do that first. And a thing to keep in mind and to note here, there are going to be a couple different size screws. We're gonna to wanna to keep all of our screws separate so that we're not um, getting anything confused when we're putting it back together. So after we get those screws out, we're gonna pull this away from the chassis. And if we flip it over here, 
you'll see that there is a small white clip that we're gonna have to remove, and that is just to press it with your thumb, and that just pops right out. We can set this off to the side. Now we're gonna start on the Wi-Fi uh, chip next here. There is a small connection for the antenna that we wanna very gently move away from the board. Uh, and then we are going to get this clip off. We're just gonna depress that, that lever, which then unclips it, pull it out. Let's get that Wi-Fi board unscrewed. And I am keeping all of these screws separate from each other so I know what is attached to what boards. This just lifts away and we're gonna set this off to the side. Now, we have a couple screws that are keeping this big plate in place, but we're gonna want to do something with it after we get it unscrewed. There are a lot of cables here that are effectively zip tied to this plate, so we're not gonna be able to remove those without clipping those zip ties. You could if you wanted to, I suppose, but let's just leave them in there. Um, this clip right here does come away. There's a small button that just lets that unclip, give us a little bit more play, a little bit more room to mess around with. Let's get this tape up as well. The only thing that's really gonna be keeping this from being able to move away freely is this uh, Wi-Fi antenna. So after we've gotten that away, uh, we should be able to go ahead and get these screws out and then we're gonna lift the whole plate up and lay it over onto the main board. So let's get these screws out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so those are the screws out of the plate. And like I mentioned before, we wanna keep all of these screws that are coming out separate, um, just so we know what goes where. After we've gotten those screws out, there should be a little bit of adhesive. There it goes, popping up, lifting the plate up, and then we'll take the whole thing and just lay it over here onto the main board, then exposing our T-Con board. Uh, now there are going to be four ribbon cable connections that we're gonna wanna remove. We get our finger up underneath the flap, pop it up. Fingernail underneath the flap, pop it up. Same thing with these two. We should just be able to very easily remove these ribbon cables from the T-Con. Now let's get these screws out and this should be the T-Con away from the chassis. All right, so now that we've gotten those screws out, this should just come very easily free from the chassis and that is how you get the T-Con board out. Last up here is going to be the power supply board. Um, as always, we're gonna start with our clips. This one up here, we're just gonna depress with our fingernail, which makes it unlatch, slowly walk it away. Same thing with this one. Use your fingernail to depress the latch, which releases it, it comes right out. The last one right here, the exact same thing. We're gonna use our fingernail to depress the clip, pull it right out. Now we got about nine screws and this should come away from the chassis. All right, and after those screws have been removed, the power supply board should just come right out of the TV. And there you have it. That is gonna do it for this Sony unit. I know it feels like it could be a little daunting, but stick with it. I know that you can do this. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comments section or give a call into our office. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if you do subscribe, you will receive 20% off your first order through TV Parts today. And we will see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.